Okay, everyone, welcome to the uh, Blue Innovation Doc. And uh, our next speaker is uh, Hanna, I'm not going to say your last name. Hanna Dombrowska. Dombrowska. Um, she is a, a, a naval architect and uh, also is a sustainable design specialist. And we're very curious to hear what you have to say. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, yes. Well, it is uh, my pleasure to be here today. Uh, and uh, I'm representing Water Revolution Foundation, uh, which is a foundation uh, with a very s straightforward goal of uh, accelerating sustainability in uh, yacht industry. And uh, the major goal for today is to present Yeti. Yeti uh, is a tool, but not only tool, also uh, a platform of collaboration, quite unusual. Uh, myself, uh, as a, as a uh, technically in charge, I will try to walk you through some uh, technical details of that tool and the uh, collaborative platform and give you a little bit of background to, to, to create understanding and introduce you to, uh, to this solution. Uh, at the same time, I would really like to emphasize uh, the goal of our activities and uh, invite you as far as possible to join uh, as many programs as uh, possible with us. So yes, Yeti, uh, it, it is a reliable reference for, for yachting. Uh, as said, it's a, it's a tool, but not only. It's a, it's a collaborative uh, platform. Myself, uh, I'm, a, I'm a leading group of uh, companies and institutions uh, in order to um, uh, meet our goals. And the common goal from, from, from the beginning was to reduce uh, our environmental impact. And uh, by that I mean the environmental impact of yachting industry and create a sustainable future. Uh, the need for that is uh, to have a reliable reference and that's what uh, we, uh, I will explain further with our tool. And the question, so where, where, where are the uh, current yachts operating? Where are they in terms of uh, sustainability? Uh, what is, uh, where, where are the possibilities to improve? And what actually makes um, a yacht better than uh, the existing fleet? So, as said, it, was, uh, it is a very unusual and remarkable uh, collaboration platform. Uh, we've been working with, uh, with uh, shipyards, with uh, naval architecture offices and uh, knowledge institutions. Uh, and at this moment we are even spreading further our collaborations. But here you can see uh, some of the uh, names that uh, probably ring a bell. Um, and just to give you a little bit of a background how it all started. So, uh, in I think 2019, uh, in a company called uh, Fedship, a uh, very passionate uh, specialist in, in uh, naval architecture and yacht design, uh, Bram Jongepier, my former colleague, by the way, uh, initiated a project uh, that was aimed to calculate how sustainable uh, the yacht is, what's the, the environmental impact of, uh, of operating yacht. And what happened is that uh, the project has grown so, so, far, so far that uh, FedShip has uh, uh, announced that either they continue the, this uh, work forward on their own or we create a collaboration and a joint industry project out of it. And it became the, the latter. Uh, which I'm very happy about because the collaboration is the, the best way to uh, to accelerate the improvements. Oh. So the goals from from the start was uh, to uh, stimulate uh, and recognize environmentally fr uh, eco-friendly -fri choices for yachts, uh, calculate emissions and efficiency. Uh, and to, to recognize the performance of uh, own fleet. Uh, 
identified most effective upgrades and um, most eff uh, effective solutions. Now, the, the, our foundation is uh, is looking at the the problematic more in a in a holistic way. So we are not only working. Uh, we are not only talking about uh, reducing fuel consumption. We are talking also about life cycle assessment, and for that we also have another tool, by the way, uh, which is called Yat. We do uh, today here discuss uh, Yeti, which is a tool that is purely focusing on operation of the yacht. Now, this is uh, simply set the, the scheme of, uh, of the tool. So uh, I will not go too much into detail because of the time we have today. Uh, but just to give you an example, to just to give you uh, the idea. So we have um, two major components of the of calculating the impact which is propulsive and so-called hotel load propulsive is simply uh, the power needed to propel the boat to move it with certain speed and the hotel load is uh, is a uh, is a uh, uh, name that we give to all the consumers uh, on board which are which are consuming energy uh, even when the boat is uh, at the anchor at zero speed uh, and as you can see uh, in this uh, schematics, it's 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 really complex. Uh, it's a really complex uh, uh, structure. Uh, it has um, uh, actually it, it has been created in Excel, and we have exceeded uh, the the uh, computation capa uh, capacity of uh, Excel. Um, so w what were the, the uh, Yeti milestones so far? So we, we did manage to set the base to compare yachts, which is called operational profile of Yeti, uh, which has been created based on uh, AIS, uh, significant amount of AIS uh, data. Uh, and what's important to mention here, since we are in Dusseldorf, uh, we have been working with yachts from 30 meters plus. The message, one of the major messages uh, for today here in Düsseldorf would be uh, we are really uh, looking forward to include yachts from 24 meters up to 30, 35 meters into, uh, into our analysis. Uh, we did uh, add in the tool uh, sail correction and I will show you briefly uh, how it looks like. The shore power and diesel uh, is considered as upstream and downstream emission, and it's not only uh, downstream, as uh, other compar comparable tools are uh, approaching. Uh, engines and generators database, uh, which is uh, given uh, with emissions, and the hotel uh, load study. So the operational profile, very important, Part, so how to compare yachts uh, in general, uh, what we discover analyzing the AIS uh, uh, profile is that the joke about yacht never sailing is not a joke, it's reality that actually majority of time or significant amount of time is at the anchor. Uh, so we have fixed operational profile to compare all yachts. Um, now sail correction, just, just to give you a brief uh, a visual, it was created uh, by Dijkstra, Oshan, Correal, Hausmann uh, companies, which are highly specialized in, in sailing yachts. Um, the shore power uh, correction has been based on the study of, of uh, all the marinas uh, in the world and translated to eco points of, of the grids, uh, giving us the average values. Uh, the diesel and shore power upstream and downstream, that's something we express in Yeti as eco points. Uh, eco points is uh, just to, to uh, uh, quickly explain, it is amount of emissions, so the components of the exhaust gases uh, that are, um, that are uh, uh, disposed to, to air or the water. Um, hotel load, which is one of the most difficult part to study. And I think uh, it might also resonate uh, with this group here in Dusseldorf. Uh, so the, the energy that is being used on board of the yacht while not moving 
is quite dr difficult to tackle. And one of the reasons is the, the data availability. Another reason is the validation of that data, so the correctness of the data. Uh, for that reason, we have uh, engaged a st student from Technical University in Delft uh, who has uh, worked very hard with, uh, I think, nearly 40 load balances of a variety of shipyards uh, in order to uh, create a formula that can uh, calculate the hotel load demand on board with correlation to main parameters of the yacht. This will be optimized for ET 2.0, as, as I said, uh, within the entire industry, it is the, the gray area at this moment. Uh, this is just to give you uh, an uh, overview or the idea how much <laughs> detail has been included. Uh, we took approach of EEDI, where we uh, uh, identify main consumers on board, starting from the largest like HVAC, ending at uh, saunas, uh, jacuzzis, and, and uh, s uh, swimming pools. Um, and this, with s specific uh, load factors, has been translated to, correlated to main uh, parameters of the yacht. Um, now, this is the dashboard of Yeti, which looks uh, very uh, engineering-like, uh, just to give you an overview what what's, what was the depth of the detail of the tool. Uh, and this is how uh, the result look like. And so at this moment, we have uh, analyzed uh, 70, uh, 70 yachts, at the, at the, as, as I speak today, uh, operating with, uh, with validated data. And, uh, and we have uh, calculated the score on the top. Uh, diagram, you can see the Yeti score, which is once again, it's uh, uh, eco points, this, that's the, the amount of emission, uh, and it's, it's presented uh, uh, ver uh, versus GT, so the size of the yacht. Uh, and the second diagram where we uh, show how the eco points are uh, translated to s functional unit of the size of the yacht. Now, this functional unit of, of yachts in this kind of assessment is uh, a big point of discussion especially very important for small fleet. Um, and it also gave us uh, the urgency to, to address the, the smaller fleet. Uh, and it seems that uh, the, the, well, it doesn't seem, it, it's quite obvious that larger yachts have much more opportunities to, to really uh, optimize uh, the, 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 the sustainability or the, the uh, fuel consumption. The smaller yachts at this moment, as we know, the hydrogen or methanol is not an uh, answer for, for smaller boats. Therefore, I would really encourage smaller uh, fleet to, to join. Uh, so yachts from 24 up to 30 at least are very much welcome in our analysis. Um, yeah, this is very important information. So from our analysis, it did show from the real data, uh, it, it does show that, uh, so the light blue is uh, representing the power that is being uh, consumed to cover for airco and all uh, equipment installed on board, and the dark color represents the, the power that is being used to propel the boat, to move the boat with certain speed. So in average would be 50-50, so both of those components are important. Um, and this is how we, we present uh, in the report of VAT. Um, why this slide is here even. Uh, the collection of data and the confidentiality and even eagerness to exchange data is a big, uh, big challenge for us. So what we uh, always make sure about is that we do uh, provide high level of confidentiality. This includes uh, not presenting yachts uh, with GT uh, when making a comparison. Uh, so that's uh, another thing is that we decided to present it uh, in a certain size class. Uh, so we have uh, below 500 uh, gross tonnage, 500, 3,000 and above 3,000. Well, obviously here we, we talk about the first uh, graph only. Uh, and what, uh, what you can see, uh, the, thanks to the, the complexity of Yeti, how it's built, uh, we can um, identify 
uh, the components that can improve significantly, and that is the uh, sale correction. Uh, the E, which stands for diesel electric propulsion system, uh, PTO, SCR, uh, the diesel filter batteries, uh, which allows for the peak shaving and uh, optimize uh, uh, loading of generators, solar panels, obviously, uh, and e-heaters. Uh, or the, the um, um, heat recovery uh, systems. Now, general improvements that we usually uh, discuss with uh, our feedbacking um, reports, and which, again, I think is very crucial for, for the purpose of smaller fleet, is, uh, is the, the general good guidance on uh, proper naval architecture, so optimizing uh, hull design. Uh, applying uh, all the features that are potentially reducing the, the resistance. Uh, so th this is certainly the, the area where the smaller yachts could uh, uh, profit from in terms of reducing the impact on the environment. Uh, so the, once again, Yeti uh, 1.0 scope, so the, the Yeti 1.0, which is the tool and platform which has been launched uh, in November in Amsterdam during the Mets. Uh, it has been uh, accepted with, uh, with a great uh, enthusiasm uh, within the industry so far. Uh, so focus on the systems, not behavior. Uh, calculating environmental impact of annual operations. So we express those eco points, so emissions per year. Uh, comparison is being done uh, within groups, recognized group of the fleet. Um, and the uh, reporting uh, takes place with explanation of the score and uh, potential points of improvement for a refit, which is uh, a very big focus uh, of ours as well at this moment. Uh, at this moment, we are also offering the uh, online uh, workshops. Uh, we are working with a variety of uh, receivers or uh, partners uh, starting from yacht management companies uh, through financing uh, companies for luxury yachting or uh, yachting uh, sector uh, through captains, crews and uh, naval architects. Um, further, what's, uh, what's important to, to uh, once again emphasize, uh, it is our mission to systematically improve and, and uh, reduce the, the environmental impact of the yachting sector. Uh, education, because by collaboration, by exchange of information, which is oftentimes in the beginning very difficult, but we make it happen, we really trigger and stimulate the development. Uh, at this moment, we have collaboration with tw 20 organizations as a joint industry project. Um, and uh, therefore, we can uh, combine that expertise. Uh, we do have the scientifically driven approach. Uh, we work uh, with, uh, with fact and, and science uh, to create that uh, tool and use it. Uh, and uh, T stands for transparency uh, in our uh, ET tool. So the consultation, validation and endorsement is a transparent process. Uh, now for Yeti uh, 2.0, which is, uh, will be launched uh, this year in November at uh, Metz most likely, or a bit earlier, um, we have already a uh, main uh, focus, fuel flexi flexibility. So as I said, uh, alternative fuels uh, and what is the impact. This, this option will be built in in that uh, new version of Yeti. Hotel load updates uh, through operational data and methodology. Methodology. Uh, at this moment, I'm assigning a student again from a, a, a technical university to to create a systematic approach. So we are creating hypothetical fleet of physically possible yachts to in order to analyze all the parameters and and understand which parameters the industry should focus on to optimize the yacht and build materials. That's also a very important link from Yeti to our other solutions like sustainable uh, solutions database, 
whereas we, as a, as a foundation, uh, we found it crucial to stimulate supply chain, and that's also important for certainly for smaller yachts. Uh, whereas in a situation where uh, on the market and marketing-wise we see many uh, emerging sustainable solutions uh, being advertised, what's important for us is to be able to either certify it, validate it, make sure that it's really um, adding value to towards the the less uh, input l less uh, footprint and learnings from our process so far is uh, lack of focus of uh, on operational uh, data so what we often time um, actually even uh, uh, acknowledge within the working groups is that we don't always have the data. Uh, so we, we, we design, we launch, we deliver, maybe we make few adjustments, but what happens further, we, we don't, don't always have that uh, data available. Uh, so in that sense, uh, digitalization, uh, I think it's a, it's a very important uh, aspect. Uh, oftentimes working and talking with crews, they are very eager and they are actually very interested to, to run, to uh, drive boats uh, that are having less impact. So they are very open to this kind of collaboration. We are 100% sure or uh, there's been a large acknowledgement within the industry that there is overestimation so the boats are oftentimes overpowered. It's not a secret, the, the, uh, the question is how to resolve it. And the, the actions to, to address all the, the issues and, and further development. So uh, we, again, we encourage uh, all possible potential uh, participants to calculate TAT scores and start that dialogue and start that uh, uh, creating that um, awareness and understand what the, the, the outcome means, uh, what it means, for instance, translating to CO2 or, or equivalent and, and so on. Uh, same goes with uh, feedback reporting, which can be very much uh, used for uh, refit that can, in the end, be uh, sustainable uh, in, in its result. We do have uh, planned uh, Yeti workshops, uh, Again, starting from um, uh, institutions through uh, naval architects or uh, companies that are more eager to find out or refit, refit uh, shipyards or yacht management companies uh, that we are already engaged uh, to, to have those. Um, and yet the online uh, calcul calculator which is being uh, created that will be available then uh, to the public so everybody can uh, calculate the score. Um, and yeah, we, we still we continue developing towards uh, Yeti 2.0, um, which will have all the adjustment that, uh, or no adjustment improvements that has been concluded from the work so far. And uh, if the, the remote works, is there any are there any questions or comments? Yeah, thank you, Hannah. Is anyone from the audience have a question? I have, I have a question. Um, you mentioned that you have a shortage of, of the smaller boats for the data. So how, if, how would, if a manufacturer is sitting here right now, how would they contact uh, Yeti? Is there like a website or? Here's the answer. Yeah. <laughs> and I there, thank you very much. Is there like a giant QR code somewhere? <laughs> it is giant, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a, it's a labyrinth. Okay. Um, yes, so uh, we encourage, again, to, to enter our uh, website. You can find it either all through those uh, data uh, visible on the screen or try to scan the... Is it working? No, it's or just take a picture. Or to just take a picture. It's Water Revolution Foundation, um, and if you send us an email, we immediately, um, or you can even apply automatically via the the website. Um, any any sort of contact will be for sure picked up because we are quite eager to to in, engage new new participants. Okay, and uh, if you if you do register, what are the advantages? Will you also give uh, 
the 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 people giving you the information do they receive like an analysis from from Yeti or what yeah, do you so so at this moment, uh, we do have um, uh, we do have uh, established a certain system for that. So there is uh, either light version uh, where you receive uh, via email, most likely uh, the, the the general uh, score, Yeti score, with explanation what it is. And uh, in order to receive the, the full uh, report with all the uh, technical information and potential improvements, we, we are at this moment charging uh, an amount of, uh, I think, 3,000 euro. Um, and uh, what we often do also, we do engage in partnerships. So depending on uh, what type of partnership that is, so what kind of exchange uh, takes place, is it uh, data knowledge development? Uh, uh, th 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 there is also always space to to uh, discuss what's the best, uh, most impactful yeah. and, and best solution for for the for the option for the sharing. So that's yeah. Okay. And just uh, so a very important thing, the uh, sharing of the data doesn't happen automatically that you have to sign up on the website and give your uh, contact. It's all covered with confidentiality agreements. We are very careful about the data that is being uh, received uh, by us. We have this highest standard to keep it uh, non-public yes. and not share with anybody. Very good. Thank you very much. for. OK, thank you, Hannah. Else? Thank you. All right, so anybody who uh, feels like uh, sharing information with um, Water Foundation. Water Foundation. Say, can you say the website again? Water Revolution. Just Water Revolution. Water Revolution Foundation. Foundation. It's long, but <laughs> it's a solid name. Or Yeti. Yeti. It's Yeti, a little bit easier Yeti. to remember. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you.